Support for female entrepreneurs could boost the global economy by trillions of dollars, according to Boston Consulting Group. So why are women receiving just a fraction of venture capital funding globally? Unfortunately, there is a preconception that women don't necessarily uh, create companies that are venture backable, that will create the growth and the returns that the venture capitalist wants it to see. When it comes to venture capital funding, less than 3% goes to all women teams in the U.S. But women themselves are stepping in to combat the gender investment gap. In 2018, Sarah Chen co-founded the Billion Dollar Fund for Women, now known as Beyond the Billion, with entrepreneur Shelley Porges. So essentially how it works is it is a consortium of venture capital funds that have taken the pledge to give a dollar commitment amount uh, to be deployed into women-founded companies by 2020. Directing more capital towards women is a big step in the right direction. However, the problem goes deeper. A recent study found that the gender makeup of the VC group financing the project also plays a significant role in making or breaking the business. I found that the startups that had one or more female founders, they tended to do worse by about a third. And so this got me kind of curious as to, well, why might this be happening? Is there something to do with the VC who is funding you that might drive this performance gap? And it turns out that this actually plays a huge role. So that one third difference that I was telling you about earlier, that difference goes away entirely if you have at least one female general partner financing you. Given that 2019 was historic for women-led companies, with the likes of Glossier, Rent the Runway, Away, and Confluent achieving unicorn status, investing in women entrepreneurs is not only the right thing to do, but the smart thing to do. 